the smoke, you gotta clear the air, turn the fan on. It is a new week, and obviously, we are on the road again. It is currently 1.57 in the morning, and the game is tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. I am currently running late as well. I told Scott I'd be at his crib at 2 a.m. Scotty, I'm sorry. I'll see you at 2.30 when the rest of us get to see you. What's up, everybody? Mine? It's awful early. Got like three hours of sleep. Yeah, let's get on the road. We got a long drive. We will see you at the next stop. It's been about two hours since you last saw us, and we are why does he have no shirt on bro this was the third stop before we actually hit the road next stop is probably a gas station or a walmart or the mall we're right. doing a little roadie why is this <laughs> we will see you at our next stop it is the third stop of our little trip i've slept 50 minutes in the past day so i'm kind of tired but we had to make this stop to get some some snacks and some drinks for the road all right what do we need Dude, I don't know. <laughs> that looks rough right there. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Anyone like Cheez Its? Sure. Oh, right here. I'm oh, sorry, we're just buying snacks real quick. We just. Hey, this is where we just grab the Red Bull and spread out the doors of the store without paying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're going to go back. We're not even bothering anyone, Tammy. Yeah, you are. We're up at Who, who have we bothered? It's 6 a.m. There's not a single customer in here. <laughs> <laughs> At first it was funny, now I'm just trying. Oh, no, not. <laughs> you know they're being really rude. They need to go. We're not purchasing anything. We're not purchasing anything? Okay. We're buying this real quick. Here. No, I guess you're not. Let's go ahead and set it off to the side, man. We're going to buy it real quick. Thank you. Oh, these are closed. Oh, no, we can't buy anything. <laughs> They won. Um, I don't know the self checks. What do you want? Just set it here. I feel like the objective back in the day was get kicked out of Walmart. Well, all I wanted was some energy drinks and some snacks, and she calls the cops on us. She was built like the dude that hides the pickles <laughs> under his tongue and SpongeBob. <laughs> There's no one in the store. She just came up tweaking for no reason. I mean, she was gonna kick us out regardless. Yeah. He said the camera has to go. I just got some sleep, so I'm in a better mood now. Got Scotty out here. We just made it to a mall. Basically, we don't have a Dallas Mavericks jersey or t-shirt or anything, so we gotta stop at this custom t-shirt store. Printing, screen printing. There we go, open. I see the open sign. Uh, what do you need done? I just need a shirt with a single logo on it. Uh, right now, it's probably till like tomorrow or Saturday, so. Is there any like, I guess, jersey stores like that would have like sports jerseys? If you go right through the little alley way right there that has the mall entrance, straight ahead, it's like GQ Sports or Sports something. I forget okay. the name of it. Well, thank Thanks. you, man. Good yeah. luck with your uh, shipments. Oh, yeah, they have to have oh, one. I see Dallas. I see Dallas. I see Dallas Mavericks. We're in the kid's side, bro. Did I get one of those uh, jerseys? Dang, we found the right place. That's actually a really cool jersey. All right, we'll go with this one. Appreciate you guys. Nice, nice meeting you, man. You guys. See you guys. Now we got what we needed. Fuck the cut. Oh. Scott's just really idiot. I don't know why he's doing that. There's like a little kid and he's like running up and dancing on him. It's just fucked up. Like, they're definitely scared and he thinks it's funny that he's just like running up and dancing. But anyways, chat, we got what we needed. It takes a lot of weight off our chest. For a minute, I was tweaking and I did not think we were gonna find Maverick stuff. Yeah, I guess we'll see you guys when we stop again. We officially made it to Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is currently game five of the Western Conference Finals. It is the Dallas Mavericks versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're repping the Mavs tonight. Got that Luka Doncic jersey on. I know, chat, I have another man's name on my back. It was kind of last minute, so it's what we had to go with, but Luka's still a dog, so it's not the end of the world, but you guys know what we're out here to do, and that is simply to troll. So let's see what we get into. It's the guy with no championship rings. He sucked at basketball. Zero rings. <laughs> he has zero rings. You're, you're Jordan's son. Imagine not winning an NBA championship. It was the guy that has no championship rings that just won. Yeah, he has no rings. <laughs> The Timberwolves still suck though. Hey, hey, how long did it take you guys to get back, buddy? Oh, shut the f up! You think Luca can do this by yourself with Kyrie? Right? Yeah. Minnesota has not been relevant since Lil Yachty dropped a song about it. <laughs> what Last the time f are y'all known for? What are you Dallas known for? Not sh And now you got your guy, Mr. 77. Take his back to the lady. The game is officially about to start. Um, so you guys know the drill. Whenever it starts, we take a break, 
eat some food, get some drinks, and just try to get some more energy for after the game. Before we see you guys after the game, enjoy this quick ad. A lot of you tune in weekly with the hopes of seeing me get hit. What did you undo? You five foot five cell. Fortunately for me, you guys can get your fix while watching the UFC. We have teamed up with DraftKings and right now all new users can play for free with their shot at millions with just an initial deposit of $5. DraftKings offers all sorts of competitions. Personally, the whole team is excited for UFC 303, which we will be pulling up to rooting for Conor McGregor. The Fight Club days are now officially in the past. Download DraftKings now and new customers use promo code SNARP. That's S-N-A-R-P only at DraftKings. Guys, I really mean it when I say this. Please download DraftKings. New users use promo code SNARP. They're helping us and they're believing in us and they see our vision. So help support them. They're supporting us. We're all supporting each other. You know, download DraftKings and use promo code SNARP. Now let's get back into tonight's video. It is the end of the third quarter and the Mavericks are absolutely dogging on the Timberwolves. It's a bad day to be a Minnesota Timberwolves fan, so it might get a little bit hostile. We have no idea. We've never really filmed in Minnesota. I do just want to say one thing before we get further into the video, and that is simply the fact that the goal is to never create a rise out of anybody. It's never to antagonize. It's never to um, provoke someone to do something that they shouldn't do. Our goal is simply to just show the best and the worst of sports. Everything we do here is friendly banner. We match the energy. Just got to make that disclaimer now because you guys saw what happened in New York. Anyways, let's see what we get into. Leaving already? Is the game over? Wait, what was the final score? It's still going. We're just getting our ass You don't believe in your team? Sheesh. I do got to say, we've been running into some uh, technical difficulties with the mic and audio today, so I got voice memos on the iPhone and my mic on. If the audio seems a little bit quieter or a little bit off today, that is why. What is this guy yapping about? Come on. It's funny how your whole like demeanor changed once I walked over here. Did it change at all? It did change at Yeah, it pretty much did. I started going swimming over there. I started that same thing right here. What? You said my demeanor changed, which means my Yeah, you got changed, less right? aggressive when I came did, over I here. I did not get less aggressive yeah, at all. I didn't get a one percent less. It's aggressive. okay. I get it. You just want to act cool in front of your girl. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Really? Are you wearing sunglasses at night because you're cool or what? Hell yeah, I am. You got sunglasses at night and swim trunks on, dude. What kind of joke are you? Actually, now that you brought it up, yeah. snarp.store, go cop your shorts. He seems to love them. They bring all the attention. I'm sure his girl loves them even more. Wait, do you love the shorts or no? Maybe she doesn't like the shorts. I could take them off for her though, but you know, it is what it is. Snarp.star. This is a dude who actually people talk to. Do you have any following at all? I've never heard of you. Oh, like five followers. You're what do you do for a living? I'm a f attorney that makes a lot of money. What do you do? Oh, I get I it now. Instagram. It's making more sense. That's not your sister, and it's just a gold digger. Who said it was her sister? It, just you the just said it was my wife five seconds ago, dude. Now you're saying my Well, like sister? your girl isn't your sister. My, why would my girl be my sister? Your I would girl. tear you apart. You're dumb as Maybe it's the height difference. <laughs> this guy's 6'4? Is this guy? Here you go. Height difference. Here you go. Um, so you're a complete around, right? Like, I don't even know your name, but oh, you're what? a complete dip. Hey, dip. Wearing shit. sunglasses at night, wearing swimming trunks at night. And guess what? It made you acknowledge me. Thank you for the attention. Can we kiss now? No. All right. You guys know We love yeah. stars. That just failed on you, buddy. Oh, He's wearing swim trunks and sunglasses. How are we supposed to take this guy? Is that like your only insult? He just wants me to take them off so he can see what's underneath. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I get it, you've had two alcoholic beverages and now you're running a little slow. I totally understand. I won't use it against you. I remember my first beer. Right here. F off. They teach you to cuss at law school. Hey, I would say good game, but you guys didn't play good. Hey, at least the drive home's only 30 minutes. Can I get your number? Why? You're telling me she likes losers. That is crazy. Ah, in that kitchen we trust. Y'all are some losers. In that kitchen we trust. Hey, stop. It's the fuck. Oh, nah. In that kitchen we trust. Stop. 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 All I see is a bunch of losers. Wait, was this a losers convention? You're really cool, man. That's awesome. Good for you. Oh, so cool. 
Damn, you a Dallas fan? Hell oh, yeah. You's a hoe. I'm a hoe, you're a hoe. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, that's a foul, right? Hey, keep walking. I'm not gonna lie, that Something. jersey is ugly as hell. Fuck Dallas. Celtics in four. Fuck Dallas. Hey, fuck Dallas. Fuck Dallas. I would say good game, but I was told not to lie. That was a good game. Appreciate it. Imagine wearing that to watch your team lose. Hey, how's it feel to be a loser tonight? <laughs> that wraps up this part of tonight's video. As always, I thank you guys for watching the Sports Trolls. We're gonna do some more vlogging after this, but I do just wanna say one thing, and that is Minnesota Timberwolves are a very respectable fan base. I don't know what it was, but shout out to the Timberwolves fans. I don't know when we're gonna pick up the camera next, but I'll see you guys when we do. We decided tonight to get a hotel. We had someone to stay with. They bailed on us last minute. <clears throat> As you guys can tell, we don't travel light. All of this is Scott. It's front wheel drive. He looks like a tweaker. <laughs> oh, we got a smoking room. We're not gonna be able to breathe all night. Yeah, we're blessed, fellas. Got us a spot for the night. Shout out to Miles Too Good for making this possible. <laughs> and I'm itching my balls. Yeah, well, we got to go along here, but let's <laughs> meet. Here's how you check for bedrooms. They live in the seams. They'll just come crawling out everywhere. A good way to tell if you if they have bed bugs is you wake up and your welts all over you. <laughs> <laughs> you just get beaten. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna piss my pants, bro. Quit touching me. Stop! We get to the hotel last night. I went to bed, saw some bugs crawling around, so we three manned in this little bed. Wes and Scott were spooning the whole time. I was off on the edge. Um, but yeah, I guess it's time to get out of here and hit the road. Hey, what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese in uh, Europe? Don't know. A royale with cheese. <laughs> it's because they don't have pounds there. Play it right when you go pee. You just like use one. You just pull one hand up, and then you only have to wash one hand when you come out. Bro, what? I don't usually wash my hands anyway. So. <laughs> Two forty-one for like that. Well, well, if you have what to, you it's your on? own. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you wash your hands after you touch your own? Does that make, does that make any sense? <laughs> So Wash your hands after you jerk <laughs> off. No. Let's go to Walmart at the beginning of the trip. We got kicked out, so we couldn't get anything. It's because Snarp needed deodorant. If that doesn't tell you, like, bro hasn't had deodorant this entire trip. So we've been living in the fumes of <laughs> B.O. the entire time. That is totally false. He does a lot of great That shit. is totally false. Now you guys see why I try to keep this dude away from the camera? <laughs> because all he says is the dumbest <laughs> I've ever heard. Like, this is what I have to deal with on a 24-7 basis. It's like I'm in the marking bear. <laughs> It's the wonders why we bully him. We're on our way home from Minnesota and we decided to stop in Chinatown, baby, you know? Tell them why we came so, to Chinatown. So, you guys don't know, um, my mom came over from China. Basically what Scott's trying to say is he's half white, half Asian. So yeah, but... So this is like my culture, so I gotta say shout out to Snart for bringing me back home. It feels like a piece of my home again, so. <laughs> We're gonna find us a little Chinese brothel, so. <laughs> All seriousness, I'm not actually Chinese, I am Cambodian. Show the whitest <laughs> I'm not Chinese, I'm Cambodian. I don't know, you the white. You, you look like white. What's name is Bill Smith. I do not look white. Right the up. He this guy's name Bill Smith. Smith. He, he calls you Bill Come on, Smith. I got some. He ain't Cambodian. Sign me up for that one. He's <laughs> Bill <laughs> Bill Smith. Smith. I'm Bill Smith. And who's he? Jonathan Comrade. <laughs> All right. You guys think Snark will get recognized in Chinatown? Probably yes, not. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. My God. Yeah, bro. Okay, I'm so you. sorry. No, you're good. I just saw you. I was like, no way. That's yeah. crazy. Coming to Chinatown to see what's up. Oh. Take it. All right, what's up, bro? Appreciate it, bro. It was so nice much. meeting you, bro. Nice meeting you too. Have a good one. Have a good night. I said we go to Lee Wingwa. Scott's the type of dude to go to an Asian restaurant and say uh, gracias and hola to the waiter. When you say hi to someone, an Asian, you're supposed to go like this. It's respectful. And you didn't. You're trolling. We could get a few dishes and split each one. You want that, Jack? I don't want to leave here until I'm shitting myself. So. One-on-one pull up with tens. One-on-one never again. One -on -one. General So's here. 
Mongolian beef here. First taste test, here we go. Nice and tender. That's good. I like it. Got a nice spice to it. General sauce. I'm buying into the shows. Let's get active. Wow. Top tier. That is the best General Tso's I've ever had by far. Not even close. It's really good. I wish it was slightly sweeter. But yeah, it's really good. Sweet and sour chicken, man. My leg's kicking, buddy. All three of them. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're out here at Nihao Kailan. Er, oh, no. Nah. What is this place called? Uh, Lee Wing Wa. I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. The only reason I give this place an 8 out of 10 is because the pot, there was no pot sticker sauce. They just gave us soy sauce, so it was a little salty. Like the portion sizes were really good. Price wasn't too terrible. It was $84 to get the tip. Yeah, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Jack? Me personally, I didn't eat very much growing up, so I give it a 10 out of 10. Well, chat, this concludes our visit to Scotty's homeland. <laughs> Scott, what, you wanna say anything? I'm gonna be wearing this in like all the videos now. We enjoyed our time out here. Yeah. Thank you, Scotty, for showing us around. Thank you yeah. for everything, Snarp. <laughs> bro, you are gay, bro. And chat, we are going to New York, so next video we'll have a slight update on court. Um, especially when we're traveling, we like to get an opinion on what restaurants, you, restaurant or restaurants you guys want to see us eat at. When you see us go to a specific city or hear us going to a specific city, comment, let us know restaurants, DM me. Thank you all for tuning in. Another week, another banger. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Yeah, I thank Scott for being here. I thank Jack for being here. And most importantly, I thank God for this opportunity. And I'll see you guys next time.